Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in once again. If you're new to the channel, my name's Brett Wood. I'm a professional landscape photographer from Australia, and I specialize in landscape photography workshops in New Zealand and Australia. If you'd like to learn more about that, check out my website. Okay, today's video, well, we're not out in the field shooting a landscape photography vlog like usual. We're in the office on the MacBook, and we're gonna get into a little bit of landscape photo editing. I recently put out a poll on my YouTube channel and also social media channels asking people a few options of what they want to see different on my channel as we move forward. And a lot of people very interested in learning a lot more about editing their landscape photos. So today's video we're going to delve into editing your landscape photos or any photos for that matter using the tone curve or curves as it's often referred to. Um, I find it's a tool that doesn't get used as much as it should. It's a very powerful tool. It's very easy to use. Um, you can use Lightroom, you can use Adobe Camera Raw or the curves layers are also in Photoshop. So today we're going to jump on my computer, we'll get a landscape image up on the screen and we'll just work your way through it and explain uh, the use of the tone curve. So let's go and jump in the office, get on the MacBook and get started. Okay guys, well welcome to my computer screen. I've got this image here open in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, if you're a Lightroom user, you're going to know exactly what I'm doing here because Lightroom is exactly the same interface as Camera Raw. So let's get started and talk about the curves layer. So or curve, tone curve or curves layers, same thing, curves. So I've got an image open here. Now there's two ways we can use the tone curve and that is a by using what we would call global adjustments. Now global adjustments are adjustments that affect the entire image, or we can also use the curves on a mask. So I'm gonna show you both of those. Now I'm not gonna sit here and go through an entire edit of this image. I'm just gonna really show you what you can do with the curve and how, how much impact it can have on your image. So on the right hand side here, uh, you've got the panel with all your different adjustments. I've got the curve uh, third in line here. Now you can move these around uh, on either Camera Raw or Photoshop. You can move the order of these um, sections around to whatever suits you. You just right click and you can sort out the order. You can also remove some of the tabs there if, the, if they're not ones that you commonly use. I've got the curve down there in number three. So let's click on that. Straight away, you see right here, that is the curve coming up. Now you'll see the the uh, the mountain in the middle, if you like. That is essentially a reflection of your histogram of your image up the top of the screen here. So that that's reflecting your histogram. And that's what's so good about curves, because you can uh, dial into whatever tonality uh, of the image uh, you want to affect. So you can see this image here, all the tones are sort of in the middle. There's not much on the dark side, there's nothing on the bright side. And just to explain those, um, it, it's as I said, it's a reflection of your histogram at the top of the screen, so it's probably good to have an understanding of how that histogram works. And quite simply, you can just hover your mouse across that histogram at the top there and it'll tell you what's what. So on the far right, what sorry, far right hand side, it says whites, and then we come over, it says highlights, exposure, shadows, and blacks. So if we come down to our tone curve, you can see that there's a lot of room in the whites and the highlights, and there's a lot of room over here in the uh, shadows and the blacks. So basically what it's telling us is all the data or, or the pixels of this image are all in the middle, so they're all in what we would call the midtones. So we can quite simply, once we've got the curve box open here, we, we see our little site come up on the screen and we can just pick up any part of that and move it up and down and then that will affect our image accordingly. So for example, we can see um, the histogram is between this bar and about this bar here. So there'd be no point um, pushing out the curves over here or over here. So it's all mid-tones, so let's say we wanted to give the mid-tones of the entire image a bit more contrast. We would lift up that side there, and then this side of the curve, probably about there, could drop that down a bit, like so. And that would give you 
a good punch of mid-tone contrast globally over your entire image. And at any given time, once you've got the curve up here on the right hand side, there's a little eyeball. It says toggle visibility. You can just click that on and off. You can see before and after, before and after. So all I've done there is make a really simple mid-tone uh, contrast adjustment and already that has made a big difference to our image. At any time, if you want to start again, you just on these little uh, points or dots that you've put on the curve, you just double click those and they disappear and it goes back to uh, goes back to where you started. So this one here, you could, for example, pull down the dark areas there, um, come right over to the right hand side where the brighter areas are and lift the bright parts up, that sort of thing. Uh, or if you just wanted to lift the, the general uh, mid-tones up in general, you'd go right in the middle and just lift that up. You can move these left, right. It's up to you, whatever works for you, whatever um, is going to give you the look that, you, that you're aiming for. So generally what I would probably do is I might do, for example, on this image, a little bit of a mid-tones adjustment at the start. Just lift the lights up there a little bit. That's in the lights. And over here in the darker areas of the mid-tones, just drop that down a little bit, something like that. Turn that on and off. You can see what I've done there. And that's already had a big impact. So that's the first way you can use the tone curve. The second way you can use it is to use it on your masks. So over here on the right hand side, the fourth one down here is your masks. And this is where you can start to hone in on certain areas. So for example, we can uh, hone in on the sky here. So it says create new mask. The second box over says sky. So if we click sky, that's going to select our sky. You can see that red uh, I've got the overlay on red. You can click here and change your overlay to whatever color you want it to be. Blue, red, orange, whatever suits you. Um, I just leave mine on a fairly bright sort of red color. Um, that's a personal choice. So you can see here where it says mask one, sky one. So I've made a mask for the sky only. Now, I don't really want to affect the whole sky because it looks a bit fake so what I can do here is click subtract linear gradient and then I can just bring up a linear gradient from the bottom like that just so that that sky mask is a bit more sort of subtle in the way it transitions between the uh, foreground and the sky like so then I would come down to my curves and then whatever adjustments I make to my curves now is only going to affect that red sky. So you can see this has made a separate uh, histogram here on the curve layer. That's just for the sky. So you can see the sky is all sort of on the right hand side. So it's all sort of in the brighter, more what I would call in the highlights. So if you wanted to bring the highlights down in the sky, you could just grab the curve in the middle there and just bring it down like so just knocking some of those highlights out of the sky for example okay let's make another mask we'll go create new mask and with this time I'm going to use a radial gradient so that's a radial filter or radial gradient so I click on that and I'm just going to draw the curves layer around that mountain in the middle um, I don't want as much contrast on that mountain as I do on the foreground, for example, quite simply because um, you never have as much contrast on the back of a scene as you do on the front of the scene. So what we might do there is come back down to the curves again, and you can see it's, it's all mid-tones here, the whole, uh, that whole sort of radial section in the middle of the image there. We can just pick that up right in the middle and just lift it straight up a bit like so. And that's just going to that's just going to take a little bit of contrast out, or just lift up those uh, those mid tones in that sort of radial area. Hopefully, by now you're starting to get the get the idea of what what we can do with curves and just how powerful they are. As I said, I'm not going to edit this entire image. It's just about showing you how you can edit your images with curves and how powerful it can be. So next one, I might do another mask. I will use a brush this time, create new mask, brush. And uh, we might, for example, um, we can change the size of our brush just by moving the open and close brackets on our keyboard. We might just paint a bit of that into the middle of the scene like there, for example, uh, into our foreground come down to the curves layer again and 
let's have a look. Yeah, let's add a, a bit more contrast into that foreground area. So we might brighten up things a bit there by lifting up sort of the right hand side of the curve tone there. And then we might sort of darken down this side. So you're sort of adding a little bit, uh, a little bit of contrast there. So at any time you can come over here to these masks and each one of them has a little eyeball next to it. You can click them on and off to see what each mask does like so. This one here on and off, you can see we've just lightened up using a radial gradient in the middle there. And then this one here, which was the brush, uh, you can just turn that on and off. You can see that we've put a, a stack more contrast into the foreground. I hope you're starting to get, get the idea of it. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to delve into it too much more. We can go into our other masks there. There's also the linear gradient, um, which is the old fashioned graduated filter. It used to be called the graduated filter. So for example, we could drag that one up from the bottom like so and go down to the curves there and uh, we could make that really dark like so if we wanted to. Um, they're just examples of, of what you can actually do with the curves and how powerful they are and, and, and how you can use those curves to pinpoint the certain tones or tonalities of the areas that you want to affect. Um, Lastly, before we go, I'll just show you one more thing that you can do with the curve, and that is um, to pinpoint certain areas within your image. So let's say, for example, uh, we wanted to pinpoint uh, some of this darker grass in the foreground here. We could come over to the tone curve. I'm just going to reset that curve. Come over to the curve, and on the right-hand side here, we pick this little plus button here, It'll say Point Curve Target Adjustment Tool. Click on that and you can drag that over onto your image and you get this little thing come up on the screen. You can hold that little uh, clear dot over the area that you want to affect and you will see as you're holding it over that area, it's putting a, it's putting a dot over here on your tone curve that affects that particular area. So you can see that sort of over there in that darker side of things. And then we can just slide that. So you can see there it's just lifting lifting up the tone curve you can see on the right hand side there in that targeted area you can also do that on the mask as well which is how i would probably uh probably do it anyway that's just a little bit of food for thought you can see just by a few simple tone curve adjustments we've already made a huge difference to that image and we can go on and do many other things um if I was going to edit that image, I'd, I'd do lots of other things and I'd probably do some color um, grading and different things as well. But essentially, that's what this is about. It's about showing you how to use curves, a really, really powerful tool. And uh, you can pinpoint exactly the tonality of the areas that you want to affect. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's helped you guys. I'm going to end the video here. Um, yeah, as I always say, please go ahead, do me a big favor go ahead uh, and leave me a comment down below. I'd like to know what you think of the video um, and it also helps to support my channel as well. But I really want to hear what you think of this video. This is the first time I've sort of done one of these videos. So hopefully this has uh, given you a little bit of um, insight into curves. Tone curve, curves, it's the same thing. All right, guys, uh, my next video is going to be a landscape photography vlog back out in the field shooting. I hope that helps, but I probably will. I'll just see how things go. I probably uh, will do a few more of these editing videos in the future. So, uh, yeah, take care of yourselves. Don't take life too seriously, and I'll uh, see you all again real soon.